Hey guys, what's happening? Vitaly Dubin is here. I'm actually staying right now next to my good friend Joshua Elder. What's going on, brother? I'm doing great. We are in Hawaii, in Maui. How, you How do you like this view, man? This is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. You know, we are doing the helicopters. We are just <laughs> watching whales a couple of days ago. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he actually said that he's a little shy on video. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. This is my first first video. This first so. video, so Please bear it's with literally me. yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to get through the next five minutes. Well, you know, this guy actually, you know, he he made probably over a thousand videos already. <laughs> true. I've made a ton of videos. Uh, you, you lost count. You I know. Lost count. Yeah. I lost count. It's been a lot. It's, it's like people who travel a lot. Like I lost count how many cities they visited. It's like oh, I lost count how many. That, now that's a good problem to have. Though. Yeah. I traveled so many cities. Met so many people. Of course, it's good to remember names. It's good to remember cities. Uh, it's good to remember where you came from. Right. Never forget about where you come from. I think that's actually really important to know. Yeah. You know, where do you come from? Where do you come from? I come from Salt Lake City, Utah. Born and raised. Um, got into online marketing actually roughly 10 years ago. Kind of fell into it. Mm. After college, I started asking myself, you know, there's got to be a better way, right? Yeah. Than to go to college for four years, hope that I get the right job, hopefully that I get a job in the first place. Right. Right. Hope that I make it safely to death. Right. <laughs> safely. So I started asking myself questions like, hey. Is there a better way in life? You know, is there a better way to do business? And that's when I came across this online world and I learned about SEO and attraction marketing. And you started with things. SEO, right? I started with SEO, yeah. While you were still like in college? And in college, yeah. I was 21 years old. I was mm. actually in southern Utah uh, playing baseball actually in, <laughs> in college. And I jumped online because I didn't know what I wanted to do in college. I was just there to play sports and have fun. And, you know, I was thinking about a business degree, but what was that going to do for me? You know, I wasn't really specializing in something. I was more yeah. so generalizing. Right. So I didn't want to do that. So I got online. I learned about SEO and I realized, wow, I could actually target people that were interested in what I had to offer mm. versus like knocking down somebody's door and forcing them to buy an alarm system or a vacuum. Right. How like, blessed actually, we are that Google came in. And right. <laughs> so that was super cool. So that's what really inspired me to get into online marketing and get into SEO, which of course eventually led to YouTube. And I know you've had like many like different, you have the blog post running, right? Mm -hmm. And you're yeah. trying ranking and then you're ranking a bunch of stuff, then Google changed the algorithms and like. It's crazy. <laughs> I think the, the best piece of advice, I don't know who's watching this right now, but the best piece of advice that I could give you is play the long game, mm -hmm. right? A lot of yeah. times you see these like shortcut systems online, these short-term strategies, and yeah, they work temporarily. They kind of help you build a brand. But if I could go back and start over again, I would have focused on just building my brand on YouTube off of just one channel instead of a lot of channels. Mm. Or created one blog instead of creating a bunch of different websites. Because you're scattered. You have many different channels. Like it helped with traffic. I got traffic a lot faster, but it didn't really help my brand much. Yeah. So the long term is the branding that will never go away. Exactly. How do you build your brand? How do I build my personal brand? Yeah. I think it's just from documenting your journey, mm. documenting what's going on with your life. I think people spend so much time like trying to force things and structure and create content. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like document what you're doing. What easier way to document what you're doing and jump on a video and talk about something that's fresh in your mind than having to like write outlines and scripts and a lot of times when you script things, it, it limits you and it limits your ability to the information that you can provide to people, you know? So that's what I love about just being on purpose and, and documenting the journey. And that's what I like to teach a lot of people. And that's something that I learned from Gary Vee. So nice. Just document the journey. People get to see the struggles. They get to see where you came from. So people can go back on my channel and see when I first got started. And yeah. How I struggled for just, you know, years and years and years, shiny object syndrome, you know, just dealing with a lot of things that a lot of you guys are probably dealing with, you know, that are watching this. Make it more real. That yeah, well, the, make, it, make it raw, real. I think a lot of, like, pretty much everybody, they start in this industry yeah. and they wander around, they're trying to find their way, right. their strategy, they struggle. They listen to the wrong people. I mean, there's all kinds of marketing messages out there that, Say, hey, buy my system, it's gonna save your life, you're gonna make 10,000 bucks <laughs> the next week. You know, everybody's but, saying that. Yeah. <laughs> but we get that, that carrot dangled in front of us, and yeah, I'm glad that that happened to me. 
you know, because it got me at least in the game. Yeah. And it got me to where I'm at. And so I'm sort of thankful for it in a way. So it's, it's worked out. Hard work, perseverance, consistency, just no plan B like we talk about at this event. Like that's the key to success. So today, what do you mainly focus on when you are looking overall on your business activities? Uh, income producing yeah. activities, number one. Working more on myself than mm. working inside of my business. Mm, it's important. Because of course, like, your income is directly proportional to the value that you give to the marketplace. Yeah, so it's to, true. To get more value, you've got to feed your mind with, you know, new information. So and you stop learning, you stop growing, and right. it's hard to so get. That's one of the things I do is I focus on learning something new every single day, whether it's new, uh, a book, personal development, maybe it's a marketing book, a sales book, or something new. Yeah. And then document my journey around that. You know, teach people what I've learned. What I've learned. And just do that, and then um, creating content. Creating content. Yeah. And where do you put it? Like you know, YouTube, you know, you Facebook. Know, my YouTube. Typically, what I'll do is I'll create a YouTube video. Mm. Um, obviously, put it on YouTube. Have somebody transcribe it. Oh, okay. You can use that for a blog. Right. And then summarize the video, and you can use that for SEO and rank your you know, not only your video, but you can rank your blog post. You still do it? The SEO part. I do. I'm starting to do that a little bit more. Mm. Yeah, on the website side, but of course there's problems with creating websites. It took about two months to get a, just a design created, and then my coder screwed up, and that took time. So that's learning experience. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm like three thousand dollars into a new website, and in a couple is, months in, <laughs> is I didn't even need a website my first three years online. You can create a six and even seven figure business without a website. You didn't use it at all. I didn't use it at all. No. <laughs> all I used was YouTube's platform and email autoresponder and a funnel. That's right. all you really need if you're getting started. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. You don't need a website. YouTube provides you the traffic. You have the email list going and yeah. Right, I mean, what uh, are some of the, the, the top books that really influenced you? Of course, the classic, Think and Grow Rich. Mm. Um, I like one by Bob Proctor. It's called, It's Not About the Money. Oh. I never read I that love one. that because at the end of the day, it's not about the money. Like you can make, like everybody, a lot of people here, for example, at this event that we're at, they want to make 10 grand a month. Yeah. I think that's great and everything. But at the end of the day, once you achieve that result, you know, what is the actually, what is the money going to give you in the first place? And once you achieve that result, then what? So if you can stretch your vision bigger a lot faster I think right. you're going to get to your goal a lot quicker you're going to get to your purpose a lot faster yeah you know and that's what i noticed once i hit that income i thought i was going to be happy and fulfilled like it was great i was able to pay off debt but i'm like now what <laughs> you know so i think what i i came to the conclusion it was all about building myself it was all about building me it was becoming the best person that i could be so i can help and impact more people you know? That's what gives so happiness, that's, right? That's what like creates happiness. it's not like reaching a certain income level and like hitting a check mark on your goal. Yeah. It's enjoying the journey. Yeah. It's it's the legacy. That's, that's that what you happiness give. is. That's what you, where you create gratitude from. Is not from this like ten thousand dollar a month goal. Because people are searching for happiness. Yeah. And as long as you're searching for it, you'll never find it. If you learn to find it in the moments, whether it's like shooting this video. Yeah. Or have you know feeling the wind across your face just like little things as crazy as that sounds like that's what creates happiness and then the challenge for that's, that's for right. for many people you know in the beginning they start their goal is we need to pay the rent yeah. you know and that's okay too and bills are due like that's my first thing was like i just want to quit my job <laughs> yeah. but at the same time you know i was so focused on that i was sort of desperate so i wasn't coming from a place of service yeah i was coming from a place of desperation right that didn't do a whole lot of good for me. So that is. I eventually understood that, wow, this isn't about me, this is about people. I'm just a vessel and I have a message. Yeah. And that's what's important. What is your message, you think? Like, as a, like well, a core message? My message is I want to help people build a business and a life that's all full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. Mm. So, freedom being able to do what you want, what you want, with who you want, from wherever you want. Yeah passion, doing what you're passionate about, what really internally like drives you, what keeps you up at night and gets you up in the morning. Right. And then overall fulfillment. You know, being able to be around your family, being able to grow yourself, being able to, to make progress and become better every single day. So I sort of think that encompasses everything. So 
some that I really thought about, you know, freedom, passion, fulfillment. I think that's something that everybody wants. They want more freedom, they want more passion in their love life, in their relationships, and they want fulfillment just all around. Yeah, there are a lot of people who are succeeding, but they're not fulfilled really, you know? Right. You know yeah. Some of those people, yeah. you know, they're kind of like, exactly. they externally maybe have, you know, something that people can say, oh, because he's giving, living a good life, but he's not happy on the inside, right. not fulfilled. Maybe he's not doing his own thing or, you know, he's not really passionate about what he's doing. He's doing for the money, you know. I think that's the hardest thing for people is to find what you're passionate about. That was hard for me because I didn't know what it was. Yeah. You have to go out there and find it though. You got to be proactive. A lot of people just expect they're going to sit on the couch, they watch The Secret, it's going to come to them. Yeah. And then it doesn't happen right. because they're not searching for it. They, you know, they don't have the courage to go out there and find it because that takes work. You know? It does. And uh, you know, I fell into marketing, got super passionate about marketing. First of all, I wanted to get on video just because, not really for the money as much, I wanted to become comfortable being a public speaker and speaking right. in public. That's the initial reason why I got on video. You know? Did so, you do any public speaking? Yeah, spoke at the last event. Yes. Um, obviously talking in this video. Right. <laughs> um, but I, th I think that was my biggest fear. I think that's everybody's You'll be speaking fear. in April, in yeah, another event. In April, two events, yeah. yeah. But I think that's like most people's biggest fear is like just putting themselves out there, mm. getting on video. That's like where the biggest amount of growth takes place. So if I can inspire people just to do that, that's by itself. That's yeah. the You've challenge. Got 50 of the way there. You remember you're doing your first videos? Oh yeah. <laughs> my parents' basement. On my web camera, actually. You can go back to my YouTube channel. You can find it. Really? You didn't delete it? I left a couple of videos there. So people know where I came from. But uh, yeah, that's that's what's beautiful is to see that, that transformation. Yeah, yeah. It's it's communication skills. It's the ability to like come up with content is being confident enough you know it's working on a lot of level of creativity yeah. that's what's so cool about this industry it's not binary it's not like you go to work and you you know do the same thing every day it's like dang i'll need to create a video what kind of create video am i going to create oh i need to structure the video what ideas should i include in it yeah and you, know, you start being creative -roll in it? Should I include, <laughs> you know what's the end result going to look like and i think that's i love that challenge of being able to put content out there and see, you know, have, have people in the world give me feedback from it. And let me know how good or how bad it is. You know, and just being impervious to all the negative feedback and just being comfortable in your own skin at the end of the day, I think that's like the most important thing. Absolutely. <laughs> so thank you so much. You're welcome, dude. Of course. Uh, we are um, we are here in Hawaii, obviously. You know, meeting the Dominican Republic probably That'd next time. Awesome. <laughs> you better be there, dude. I better see you there. Of That's course. Man. You been to the Dominic Dominican Republic? Never, man. Never. <laughs> so awesome. Well, thank you so much again, and uh, we. Uh, I always also, love hanging out with if Joshua. If you're on my channel, yeah. I plan on putting this on my channel. Okay, cool. Subscribe below, hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, and share this because I know there's a lot of entrepreneurs, new entrepreneurs, current entrepreneurs, struggling entrepreneurs that can get some value from this. So you guys have a great rest of the weekend. What is it? Friday? Friday here? Friday, yeah. I barely remember. Friday that. night. So yeah, click subscribe below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Always promotion. <laughs> That's the price of doing business. <laughs>